Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Wonderly, and welcome back to another video of the Alchemist Code. And today we got some extra dungeons, some a few other things to do. Uh, first things first, the extra dungeon for the Savage Sea Warrior is here. And if you guys actually watched my story reaction to this, it was very cringy. I'm not sure if I actually want to go for this, but. Yeah, we have to complete it to get it. Uh, apparently there is a restriction. At least that's what I saw, right? Oh, I said restricted. I have no idea what that means. Uh, anywho, let's go ahead and get in and do something. I don't really know what I want to go with here. So I'll figure out something. Oh yeah, the Karis Extra Dungeon is here. If you guys want to farm that, if you have been missing her gears and everything, I'm definitely going to try and farm that if I can auto it. I'm going to test it in this video if I can find a good team for it. At the moment, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, let's switch Rahu's that get to. I do have Ultima's like first job maxed out now. Now all I gotta worry about is his second job, which is uh, Enhancer? Enchanter. I think that what it was called. Enhancer. Pretty sure that's not a thing in this game. <laughs> no face cam today. I am charging my lights for to get ready for a stream tonight. Alright, so let's see who are all on here. I was just fighting pretty much everybody. Jeez. I knew that. I would have brought another win. So. These, could, these two right here could be really troublesome. This is already troublesome. Especially if she powers up. So let's see. What can we do about. Yes. Okay. We can do a little bit about her. She should be dead next round. As for Ultima, oh, I can one-shot him. Okay, cool. What about if I put it right about here? Can I hit both? Yes, I can. I'm not doing one his weapon yet. His weapon is the next thing I'm actually farming at the moment. Alright, decent damage. Now, the only thing I am worried about is Ultima getting sniped. If anything, I hope he avoids. Oh, wait, where is she? Oh, she's up there. Like, it's still become an issue, though. anybody we want to move it's Gilgamesh but instead we're gonna quicken him and if anything oh dear god okay well at least you didn't attack Ultima you're out now I gotta focus on you which I'm pretty sure you're water so I should be good Here you go, one. Oh, dear God. Oh, they... They aren't very strong. They are pretty tanky, though. Well, I need to save up Jules to take you out anyway. I can't do that, right? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, 
And we're just going to click in you. This is probably a pretty easy task. Alright, now she's out of the picture. Ultima's so good. I'm so happy right now. Oh, dear God. Oh, thank God you avoided that. I'm not going to move up too much. There we go. Oh, I thought he was going to live for now just because he blocked it. Ow. So it seems like I can auto this if I was working on Dalga. Or Dilga. Pretty sure it's Dalga. I mean, if it was Dilga, it'd probably be an ear, right? I don't know. You guys know I don't know these Japanese names. Or any odd random name I've never heard before. I don't even try to pronounce them. Pretty sure we can't reach from here. No, we can't. Too high. That's a first. So they're re-rolling or rerunning all the events, which is pretty nice. So if you guys have missed any characters, you can go back and farm them now. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do a summon. I mean, I can't remember her name, but she is on the banner now. Last week she wasn't. Well, she was on a banner, but she wasn't on, like, the lore one. She was on, like, the 250... She was on, like, the 1,500 is what I meant. I need to go back to sleep, apparently. <laughs> there we go. Finish. Uh, obviously, it isn't all that strong, especially if you have a level 75 character. Seems like you can auto it. Alright, so that's pretty easy. As for... the Karis dungeon, I'm pretty sure I can auto this without teammates. But then again, it's way easier to pick your teammates now. Thank God I don't have to worry about this anymore. To God, all my teammates have Gilgamesh. So a bunch of Karis. Just a whole bunch of Karis and um, Gilgamesh around. I mean, 9 out of 10, you're going to see the same characters over and over. Oh, this character. She's now in the um, future. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to summon for her. But I might as well because I don't have Sakura. But then again, I want to know if I'm going to get enough back at that point. But first things first, we do have our five star summonings. So, oh, it's a new character. This is pretty much from the new event that's come, that just came up, where you're supposed to pretty much download. Which you're supposed to pretty much just log in, and you get the rewards. Who's that? Oh. It's her. She's the uh, summoner, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I wonder if she's... Like, really good. 
Uh, you guys tell me how summer class is, and I'll work on her if you guys say she, like she's pretty decent or something. You guys let me know. But we're going to do our last two all together. Yet another new character we don't have, along with a character that we do have. There are many characters that I don't have, though. Alright, get to it. Oh, Raul! I wanted him back when the game started, but now I don't really need him anymore. <laughs> but thanks, game. <laughs> Alright, who's this? Oh, thank you, actually. I do need more for his jump plus whenever I get there. That's right now. I, I'm nowhere near close. And no good equipment that I actually need out of that. Well, the armor is pretty nice. Alright. I guess I'll do one summon out of this. Just one. If I don't get her on the first try, then that's unfortunate. Oh, three new summons. And they're yellow. Let's see what we get. Oh, the change to red. Come on. Something good. Decent, at least. Okay. Get through the blues. Because I know you guys really don't care about the blues as much as I don't. <laughs> Have to change the red. Oh, this character. Not a huge fan, to be honest. So it says I got three downloads, so both of these must be something new. Pretty sure this. I've always thought that this never like went through, but watching others, apparently it eventually goes through. But okay, it was he was just about to go through, okay. Whoops. But if it does that, I would rather just skip through for you guys. What's this one? Oh, okay. Never mind. Apparently, we're meant to get balls. Okay, I am actually satisfied with those two summons. I don't even, I don't even care <laughs> that I didn't get her. That's fine by me. Where is he? Even though I didn't get his... No, I'm pretty sure I did get his token. I just didn't get his, um... Gears. Nowhere close to, uh... 75, though. Apparently the game really wants me... To work on him. Pretty sure an event will come by where we farm his shards. But as of this moment, yeah, such an event does not exist. Alright, that's all I'm doing into the next collab. That was kind of another character that I actually wanted. I'm going to farm towards there. I'm going to see if I can auto... Oh, apparently there's some kind of random Disney game that's kind of like a um, hero charge that's going on. Uh, I think I'm good. I've gotten out of the whole hero charge thing, but there's still other games that are like it that I've tried out. I still don't know what this 2 is. I don't think that I have anything else in here that is claimable. Yeah. What? Alright, whatever. But now that I have Ultima, a lot of things are pretty easy. Not everything, though, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I did want to show you guys how I pretty much farmed the extra dungeon for here. Since last time, I'm pretty sure you guys... I'm pretty sure you guys didn't see me get through this. I normally carry around another Ultima. This is just my own preference. Then I carry around a Zangetsu. Pretty sure this is the order I went in with. At least I hope. 
but just in case people were having trouble ultima helper is probably the best thing to start out with especially to just clear the clear the enemies in front of him especially if they have the gear they should have it see probably the best character to start with Then I use Yomi to get rid of this archer. It doesn't go as smoothly as you guys are thinking right now. I still do have some troubles now then. I can use this because it's safe on this ultima. Because of the whole magic defense thing. I will be doing this though to get some of my jewels. You guys will see why in a few seconds. Okay, he goes he normally goes over there and messes with him. Now I wanna go up here. But him messing well going up there and fighting him probably the best thing just because that gives me free jewels on Zangetsu now I'm gonna save my um, master ability for these two mages over here because they start to uh, they start to just pretty much stack up on each other so now that I have Ultima I can put this guy to sleep because you guys remember last time, I'm pretty sure Sleep worked on him in a different event. And apparently it still works here. He's naturally going to fight Lucian. So now I'm just going to keep walking over here. Pretty sure I can attack him, right? Yep. Now, here's the thing I'm going to do now. Charge up. You guys are probably worrying about the P HP, right? You know, I have a solution for that. I pretty much use her as a HP delivery or an item delivery at that. I don't make her fight unless it's like really necessary. Is that and now I'm going to run up here so here's where a tricky part comes the demon summer pretty much summon around this point but they can easily be taken care of by Zangetsu so this is why I try to get jewels on him pretty early I'm going to show you guys a downfall to what will happen if you put uh, our good old friend <laughs> Lucian right there. Because I've done this plenty of times and regretted it. I pretty much still use those. Don't, don't worry about it. I still have a dozen of them. Yeah, the... this is the issue right here. Don't put Lucian right here if you're going to try this strategy. Don't put him right there. You will you will regret it. If anything, charge up. The next turn, Lucian should be out of the way. Should be. And no matter where these demons go... I'm pretty sure they won't be much of a threat.
I do just want to do a little bit of damage just because this guy is quite annoying. I'm gonna do this, put him to sleep again. I don't want to kill him just yet. Alright, now I want to move right here. Dang, guess who's coming up next? Now, the reason I use these guys is just because he can't lower their attack. Because Ultima is pretty much magic base. So, Ultima is going to be really good for magic defense. Uh, well, this is going to be annoying. I don't want to kill him yet. I still want those extra points. Grand Cross, and you can just finish off the demons. Like, you actually don't have to focus on these guys. You could just kill the um, mage, and it'll just end it there. But if you want, like, completion and extra shards and everything, then I guess this would be the best tactic. I don't think I can reach him, like always. Ah, uh, why do you have to be so far away? As long as I keep him asleep, we should be good. He has to wake up for like two turn ish, maybe. Worst case scenario. And you can um, stop these uh, wolves. Just put them in stop if you need to, if it's necessary. Which, not out of 10, it's never really necessary because they don't move for like a long time. Pretty sure I can one shot him. Uh, which which one? That one. There we go. Thanks to their leaders, their charge time is like really low. All right, let's start working on your HP. And put... Oh, I was about to say put him back to sleep, but jeez. He should be dead. There we go. Full map completed. Well, if he actually gets hit by this... I think this has a chance of hitting up oh, 50-50 basically. Oh, well, that worked. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how I run this dungeon now. I have to manually do it. I am not in any <laughs> in any position to do it like autoing. So yeah. Ultima staff is four star at the moment. So yeah, I'm working on Ultima, focusing on him. He is doing pretty well at the moment. Uh, what else can I do for you guys? Oh yeah, I want to see if I can auto this now. I guess we could stick with this team. Uh, let's do it without teammate. Just because I want it to be at a point where I don't have to always bring in an ally. If I do, then that, that's just fine because they gave us a lot of zinni, so I don't really have to worry about that for a while. Until they take it all away from me upgrading skills. <laughs> oh, it's this! I forgot about this. I pretty much outspeed her in this event. I don't know why you attacked that, but alright. <laughs> Whatever, more power to you. This takes down strength, so magic doesn't have to worry about that. So this is pretty much easy for magic users. <laughs> I 
Alright. Maybe I should brought Vivi for this. Yeah, Vivi probably would have been good in this too. To be honest, I was trying to figure out which event this was. I thought it was a completely different event, but no, it's way different. Yeah, I think it's time to go back and grab VD. <laughs> I at least want another magic dealer. I'm pretty sure this event is supposed to be like extremely easy. Um, we'll take out Tengetsu since his turns are kind of slowish. VP, where are you? I still need to get like two more limb breaks on her, then I'll be happy with that. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. Actually, we can bring uh, Lufia too. So let's switch out these two. There we go, three magic dealers. And once we take out them, then I think y Yomi would be just fine going around by herself. Even though I could go to Caster, then I could just have a full magic team. So we'll try Caster after this. I should probably be that anyway. Hmm. Just testing runs, making sure I don't have to change my team too much. Alright, let's see how Vivi does. Even though she's not as strong as everybody else. Eh, decent. Nothing too amazing. Oh, the drain. Okay. Oh, Luffy is just pretty much using, um, clicking on everyone. Oh, yeah. Vivi's okay for this. At least he's actually able to do damage. Okay, really. Of course, you like dodging. I didn't know, um,. Hold on. Was that her basics? Does Dancer have, like, some really decent range on her, like, basic attacks? Or was that more of a skill? I'm curious now. I don't think I've ever seen... Well, yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of Dancers around. I really don't feel like doing her extra dungeon. Especially with others. Right now, I've just been soloing a lot of things. I'm pretty sure I could probably solo it, too. I would not doubt it. Considering the characters we have now. We got rid of the two main problems, but they'll come back towards the end of the game again. The archers are the second main problem. Now she can actually do her, her full damage, so it should be good. I have a feeling that these... No, no, it's not even a feeling. Um, the enemies have gotten way smarter. 
they definitely boost like the AI enemies because now they move out of the way of charging attacks like if you put a mage attack in a certain area they'll definitely move out of the way of it they are way way smarter now and I I'm a feeling that our AI is a little bit smarter also a little bit not too much though okay yeah actually it is because um if you guys don't remember Rahu would just sit in one place and constantly constantly use her buff over and over and over but now she no longer does that so it seems like these guys no longer just continuously buff in one place anymore like um probably Michael's probably smarter too because if he was in professor form or professor plus whichever one you have he would constantly spam it over and over again as well pretty much his um like boost boosting potions he'll just sit there and spam them but the AI has definitely gotten smarter which is really nice to see oh well then. rip that's fine though but yeah it's actually really nice that they're actually doing things way better and we can farm this Alright, so I need to copy this team on to another place. That's another thing I wish we could do. Just pretty much, uh... I can share my clear data. Okay, that's nice. So others can see your team. But yeah, that's another thing I wish they do would let us do is like copy one team and put it onto another. Like that would definitely be good. Does it actually show up for others? Yeah, actually shows up. Let's see what everybody else used. Auto only, no deaths, no deaths. All missions completed. Well that death wasn't my fault, you know. <laughs> okay, let's try it with caster. If anything I can also do it with um Necromancer, I'm pretty sure. I just want to see how much easier it is with Caster. Considering we're going with a full magic team now. I wonder if we can actually delete the data. I didn't actually take a look at that. If anything, it should just replace it. Now that we're like this, pretty much everything is no longer effective to us so we don't have to worry about defense increase or attack down decent nothing too amazing I think Ultima should be able to clear it up. Unless he's aiming for something else. I don't know, just aiming for him? Okay. I guess he's like, everybody else got that thing. That's it. I don't think he actually moves. You actually have to just sit at the door with him and fight him. Alright, so if we have a full... Oh, okay. Well, that was odd, but alright. That was a good miss. Okay, so they're gonna... Tr so the AI is not smart when it comes to status effects. Not knowing if it's gonna actually work or not. That's unfortunate. So, like I was saying, if... We take out Yomi. He's automatically gonna try and use his ultimate ability. And here she goes again. Yeah. So it was better to have her as a freaking um rider then. 
that made no sense. Apparently, if I do that, she'll dumb down a little bit. But also, I'm pretty sure she's just spamming her basic ability, too. If anything, I might just want to change her basic abilities. But she'll stop. Yeah, that's magic tree she's trying to use for some odd reason. So I'm going to change it to here. Which should be okay for her. I'm hoping she doesn't try and do anything dumb again. But we're going to see. Because that was actually really dumb that she just tried that twice in a row. I don't think that was going to be effective towards that thing at all. But it's nice that <laughs> but it's really nice to see that they think about the effects, though. I just don't think they know that it's a really low opportunity to actually get that through. If if this doesn't work, then I guess Necromancer or Rider would probably be just, just as good. If anything, I'll go back to Rider. But this is a event that I need to farm. Because my Karas is pretty much still uh, without her gears or pretty much without her equipment. Which kind of limits her. Alright, we already know you use that. Very often. She'll always try to fight that thing first since he's pretty much... Uh, Thunder. Oh, he dodged that time. It's even weirder that he just... Well, nah, he's pretty much like the enemies now. He just targets whoever he's more effective against. Which I don't really like all that much, considering the fact that a weak monster in front of him, <laughs> he uses that on one of the weak enemies he can easily take out with a different spell, but yeah. Oh god, she's going to try and use that. Yep, let's just say Ryder is way better than Caster. Because she's not very smart on auto. That's limiting and very unfortunate to see. So I know what team to go with. I wasn't getting anything good off that anyway. Like, wow. See, this is why you gotta test things, guys, because you never know if a team will actually act right, especially on different jobs. Alright, back to Ryder it is. I don't think there's another event that I actually want to do. Or farm, at least. Even though I just got Ultima to his max job. So I should start farming everything. And seeing how well it goes. So people were saying Ultima can do some quite amazing things in some of these dungeons. I do need to still farm this. What's this? Where did this come from? I haven't done the bonus stage yet, so let's do it. Um, let's change the team, though. Uh, this is team two. Um, let's go to team four and change it to... Okay, yeah. This is what I normally do for, like, events. It just sucks that they limit it to eight characters. I just want to drag over my whole teams. Water. Who else? Who else? Lafia? Where is she? Definitely past her.
Whoops. Wrong one. I always get those mixed up. It's... Hey, it's a common mistake. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens. And by that time, we should have... Well, actually... I wonder if those two would work better if I just swapped them. Eh, I'll test that by myself. You guys... I've tortured you guys enough with seeing me fail so much. <laughs> Um, I don't know who else I was going to put in here, but I guess I'll just take Zangetsu, if any, if anything. Alright, now we got the main team we're going to have to work with. I'm going to keep you. Um, I could keep you. But I need to change you out, definitely. Like, you're not going to be good in this. If anything, I will take... I guess I'll take a Gilgamesh. I don't think they have any swordings to see who else who I can just match up and see who has the most damage. Oh, they have a 81. Okay, I'll use him then. So, also, if you guys don't get this, you pretty much have your friends mix in with random people. By the way. And your friends are still at random also, so remember that. If you don't have a lot of friends who have pretty much sorted out all their crap and put in a lot pretty much put in like the characters yet you'll see the same ones over and over and so you all of your friends like start putting in the rest of their units inside of pretty much helpers and once that happens then they'll just pretty much be selecting for random because i remember the same thing um this guy he didn't pop up for like a whole day well pretty much like half of the day then he popped up again because it was just randomizing people so i didn't get him for a while just letting you guys know that. Alright, bonus rewards. Even though there's no real thunder unit that I want to level up at the moment. Even though I could be wrong. I need to go check. Oh, actually, no. Because I got that Valkyrie I need to level up. And another thing is, that's pretty nice in a way. Sometimes, if I tuck a, if I turn on auto, it goes on to the next like round. Like it automatically just stays on. If I take it off, then it turns off. Um, I'm very suspicious of this. There's definitely going to be some summons here. Yep, felt so. Okay, they're water too. So it was a good idea to bring Gilgamesh. Okay, so they're not going to be taking much damage from me. So it is sort of like whoever is most effective going on in this room. Oh, these guys stone. Jeez, dude, no. That's gonna be annoying. I do have Rahu, but she's not in here, so she can't take off the effect, unfortunately. Dude, don't farm her. Leave her alone. You guys are bullies. A bunch of bullies. Yeah, so no effect is going to work on her, which is very annoying. We're going to use it on now. Oh, they didn't work on Ultima. Oh yeah, Ultima has the um, defense, well, debuff resist, which is really nice. So you have a pretty low chance of actually working on him. Ow. I don't know why I'm autoing this. Just don't question it. 
It's still funny that the effect stays on any enemy or user. Alright, he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stop focusing down one person. I definitely want to get that archer out of there, but bad chance of that happening. <laughs> hey, dude, attack me. Not not Ultima. Leave Ultima alone. God darn it, stop bullying. Alright, buddy, I'm gonna need you to use Oh well never mind. Uh go back to what you were using, apparently. Apparently I don't know better than you. <laughs> Good job getting rid of that thing, though. Oh, that's fun. Hey, leave him alone, darn it. Yeah, Ultima's not useful in this, unfortunately. Oh god, I figured as much. I can't wait for the Face Day Night event to come back. Can we re can we rerun that, please? I would rather have that to be reran right now. Pretty sure I'm not the only one who would love that. Alright, that's pretty much over with. Or so I thought, jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, calm down. Oh, his quick air ward off. I was wondering when his turn was gonna come. I didn't realize his quick end went off. Eh. I only really have this character, so there's no real reason for me to farm her gears. Not a big fan of her anyway. I mean, her master ability is pretty cool, but not a huge fan in using her. Especially when there's way better. Uh, so everything else, I guess I'll leave to your imagination. <laughs> it's not much to farm at the at the moment for me. And the thing that I really hate is that this is limited. You can only farm this up to three times, which I realized yesterday and remember that you can only farm it up to three times. So yeah, that's basically worthless. Unless you already have the character, then it's not as worthless as I'm saying. Other than that, it's pretty worthless. There's really no reason for me to farm this either. Because there's nothing I can really <laughs> do with it. Especially, well, her, the stats are probably decent, but like I said, yeah, it's, it's a kind of like maybe situation. But yeah, guys, that's all I'm going to leave you with. Uh, if you have any more dungeons you want to question me on, I could probably do it like next video or probably give you a, a basic team that I use for it. Like I said, I may not be the probably like the best player in the community, but eh, I know a little bit. Not as much as the others, maybe. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Hope this video helped you guys out with certain dungeons. Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose?
what you got to lose.